Botox is really the penicillin of the 21st century. Mm. Here is a medicine that can be used for urinary incontinence, decreasing prostate size. Uh, you can use it for hyperdrosis and sweating. You can use it for anal fissures. You can use it in cerebral palsy. You can use it in, in, in young kids in Crumlin and Temple Street Hospital this morning just after being born that are totally spastic. I mean, they're getting doses of five times a month and... and, and there isn't a word about it. It can be used, okay, cosmetically for wrinkles, but this is a very powerful drug. Mm -hmm. This is something that goes across from dermatology to neurology, back into sort of, you know, pain medicine, back into urology, into gynecology, and um, what a wonderful medicine to have at our disposal. And most people don't realize, I suppose, people turn around to me and say, is it a toxin? Uh, you know, if you go into hospital this morning with a cardiac arrest or heart attack, we're going to be giving you atropine, lignocaine. All these medicines um, are from, the toxins from plants. Usually the, both lignocaine and atropine as you mentioned there, they, they come from the blowpipes of South American Indians. Yeah. You know, we use digoxin. Digoxin has been used since 1666 by Sir William Wuthering, the same time as the Great Fire of London, from the uh, foxglove plant and it, so all toxins are are medicines that if you give them a strong enough dose they will kill you yeah. if you dilute it down the therapeutic to toxic ratio gets so little that we can harvest its benefit and Botox really tops the list for this well a lot of people would say you know oh god no I'd never have oh me no no I'd never have Botox done who'd want to put rat poison in their face you know, and I, absolutely I mean, no association with rat poison. Know, this oh, that's is, warfarin. This yep. is the, the, what people, sure. your average person on the street, who wouldn't have read up on on the benefits of Botox. Uh, amazing. Right, when you say. consider that Botox has now been used something like twenty five million scripts worldwide since its inception about twenty years ago now, and no real side effects in anybody. Mm. One of the most amazing things about Botox is the body has a built-in mechanism, not for getting rid of or excreting it, but growing new nerve waves around it. Yeah. So anybody who has a problem, be it a droopy eye, droopy lip or whatever, it disappears. So the second fantastic thing about even though we wouldn't inject a, a pregnant woman, the people who are getting Botox are usually female of childbearing age and there's been something like one million million, I think, patients that have become pregnant during the period they've been on Botox without any evidence, anecdotally or otherwise, that, you know, it gets into the serum across the placenta. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that. I know that you could have some people say, well, somewhere in Buenos Aires and whatever did something mm -hmm. happen, but in general a very, very safe drug. But the, the I mean, it's only safe if it's, if it's administered safely. I think that's fair as well. Absolutely. If I we mean, take you, you see, you see si uh, situations that are set up. You might see ads in the paper on the internet. Yes, I'm having a Botox party. Sure. And this could be me, and I've never, never done anything I know. like that before. And, and there's uh, and practitioners in this town somebody, that are doing it. Yes. I might have seen somebody injecting somebody somewhere, yes. saying, "Oh, that's how you do that, Grand. I'll do that." Yeah, absolutely. It should be done certainly in safe hands. People that know the regional anatomy underneath, um, certainly injecting at the wrong muscles, it can cause problems. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. But if we take Dijoxin, which a lot of older patients listening to this radio station tomorrow will be very familiar with. Dijoxin is one of these cardiac drugs. The therapeutic to toxic ratio of dijoxin is only 2.4 to 1. So that means if the patient gets up, takes three times their dose because they're confused, they're in trouble. Therapeutic to toxic ratio of Botox is 60 to 1. Yeah. So a practitioner would almost have to give 10 bottles before they start getting into trouble. So the safety profile of it is phenomenal. Mm -hmm provided it's done in a safe environment. Not, oh, absolutely. Not going to the woman down the road who's having a Botox party for 10 tonight and 10 tomorrow night and 10 the night after. Absolutely. I, I spend a lot of my time looking at um, both Botox problems and dermal filler problems. I mean, in the last week alone, I've seen four, mm. you know, and, 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 and it's a shame. Um, but anyway. But things can life. go wrong if they're not done in the right way. Listen, yes. how can people get in touch with you at the Aylesbury Clinic? Well, um, I suppose the simplest way is to phone the Dublin office is 269-2255. Okay. And um, the Cork um. office is 021-485-7744. Um, and most of the services we provide are on the website, aylesburyclinic.ie. So that's fairly straightforward, aylesburyclinic.ie. Mm-hmm. 
Always um, fascinating to talk to you. Thank you for joining us, Patrick Tracy. Sure. Thank you very much for joining us. My this pleasure. Morning. Always good Thanks to talk to you. That is uh, Dr. Patrick Tracy from the Aylesbury Clinic, aylesburyclinic.ie. Is that, am I right there, aylesburyclinic.ie? Absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. Excellent stuff. And um, that's the website. You can uh, find out so much more um, than you ever thought was out there. Okay, Dublin.